It was a pleasure to burn. It was a special pleasure to see things eaten, to see things blackened. I found comfort in the scent of kerosene and warmth upon my face as I watched endless pages burn before my very eyes. But that was before I met Clarence. You must be our new neighbor. Of course. The name's Guy Montag. I'm a fire man. Nice to meet you. The name's Clarence. We just moved in here. My uncle gets us kicked out of everywhere we move. Why's that, Clarence? Well, you see, we get kicked out of everywhere. I hate school, and my uncle keeps trying to find a house with a front porch. Why aren't you out driving fast cars and vandalizing like all the other kids? See, my uncle said they used to have these things where people would just sit around and think. They were called front porches. He said people used to have these things called porches in front of their homes, and people would just sit outside and enjoy the summer air. He said the architects took them away because they thought they were ugly. My uncle thinks otherwise. Say, you're a fireman, aren't you? Yeah, how'd you know? Well, the red hat kind of gives it away, but you smell pretty bad too. It's the latest in a new line of fragrances by Smokey the Bear. I'm surprised you, I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. It's a, you're just a boy and it's a man smell. Well, see, you're not like other firemen. How am I any different? See, you, you actually listen to me talk. The other firemen just throw rocks at me. It's interesting. Well, good luck with that. I gotta run. Well, goodbye, Mr. Montag. Have a nice day. Millie, I'm home. Millie? You're still watching that screen? Is that all you do? Where the books at? You know where they are, or you wouldn't be here! Montag, get the kerosene. This place is going up in flames. Why the whole place? Can't we just burn the books? No, because that would be the right thing to do. This is your last chance to get out of here alive. Come on! No, you can never have my books! I'm staying here! Don't worry, the fanatics always try to attempt suicide. I'm gonna count down to five! Five! Please, come with us! Four! Hurry up! Three! This is your last chance. Two. Don't do this. One. What's wrong, guy? Millie, Millie, I have a secret. Understand that? But I know someone who does. Huh. No! Edward! Bella needs you! You can't leave her! What? Who's that? There aren't any books in here! Go away! Calm down, my friend. My name is Montag. I'm one of you. I know better! You're one of those firemen, aren't you? Get away! You can't have my precious books! You can't have them! No, you don't understand. You need to help me understand books. When's the last time you've seen one of these? Great Scott! A Harry Potter book! And it's in mint condition. Wow! I've been stuck reading Twilight for so long, it'll be nice to read something with some sustenance. This is incredible! That can be yours, if you help me. And there's many more where that came from. All right. I'll help you. But we're going to need some technology. Hold on one moment. Here. Put these on. We can use them to communicate. Take it with you to work tomorrow, and I'll tell you what to do. All right. Uh, 
Do you have a valet Betty? Uh, Montag, hurry up! Oh, Captain, my Captain. Where did the firemen originate from, and why did we burn books? Ah, uh, interesting. It's okay, though. Every fireman hits his point in their career sometime. But here, let's watch this video. So you want to be a fireman? Well, before we equip you with lethal amounts of kerosene and matches, let's discuss the history of our profession. You see, Benjamin Franklin was the first fireman. He established the fireman structure that we use today. He wanted to destroy all the rubbish inside of books. Hey you! Pay attention! This is important stuff. You like TV, don't you? Of course you do! Everybody does! It gives us all the entertainment we need without all the boring details. You literally don't have to think at all! Why would you want to waste your time reading about fictional characters when you can watch Pretty Little Liars? And so, over time, firemen burnt all the books so people could remain happy, ignorant, and complacent. Any questions? Very good. Here's your uniform. Now get out there and burn some books! Well, I hope that cleared everything up, but we have a call to answer. A call? Where? Alright, take a step out. Can I open them yet? No, not yet. Are we here? Yeah, but you can't open your eyes. Why not? Why is it a surprise? Shh. Are you ready? Yeah. You can open your eyes. This is your house, boy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, this you just been punked. This has to be a mistake. No, it's no mistake. This is your house. Yeah. Oh, man, you thought that was a real dog? No, man, that was a mechanical dog. We scoped you out. <laughs> yeah. Ah! What have I done? Favor, favor, favor! I need your help. The hounds, the hounds! They released the hounds! They released the what? The hounds! The hounds? It's gonna get. I killed B! Calm down, man! Get a hold of yourself! Favor, I need your help. What What can I do? I, I can't stay here. Where do I go? What do I do? Oh, um. The forest! I have some friends down in the forest, just up past the river. Go to them, they will help you. You mean those smelly hobos who keep talking about that Bradbury, Shakespeare, and Dickens guy? Oh yes! Them exactly! They're the ones you need. Go to them and they will help you start a new life. But, but what about your house? I've been here. The, the hound, it'll smell me. It'll come here and it'll kill you. Don't worry about me. I will wipe the scent here so it won't trace us past this house. I'm taking the 5 o'clock bus out of town tomorrow morning. You have to go now. Very well. Good luck, my friend. Greetings, Montag. How are you? How do you know my name? Uh, Favor told us about your impending arrival. Who are you people? See, we memorize entire books. Uh, it sounds crazy, but that's what the author wrote. But can... how do you... can I be one of you? Of, of course, what do you know? Well, not much, but I do know the works from the great J.K. Rowling, including Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and of course, and of course, that's not it, my friends. Dr. Seuss. Oh my god, what's that?
What happened? Oh no. What are we gonna do to pass on knowledge to our future generations? I know. Con lo terrorista. Okay. No, you can never have my books. I didn't enjoy the summer air. He said the architects took them away because they thought. Wee! <laughs>